Hey there, I'm Xerax and welcome to the couch. Showdown! If you haven't played it before, that's good. I, I think you should be playing it. Uh, really now, if you, if you don't have Rec Room Plus, don't get it. Or if you do have Rec Room Plus, just don't try it, please. So, Showdown is finally out, at least for Rec Room Plus members, and it's an RO, alright? I'm not I'm not gonna talk around it. It's, it's really broken, it's got a lot of bugs, but, you know, that's to be expected, especially because this isn't, like, the full RO. It's not out yet for everyone. One, so I guess we can expect bugs and glitches, but wow, is it unplayable at times. So what even is broken with this RRO? Oh lord. So first of all, in the beginning when the RO came out for the first time, the first thing that everyone had a problem with and noticed was the infinite respawning bug, or basically infinite respawning bug. So basically you would spawn and you wouldn't really have like a gun. You would just be empty handed and you'd be like, oh, I think something's wrong and the game would respawn on you so you'd actually get a gun. Uh, I think that's what happens when you don't have a gun in your hand. The game just says, oh, you don't have a gun. Let's respawn you. And basically because you don't spawn with a gun, it's just gonna keep respawning you until you have a gun. Now, in the current time that I'm recording this, uh, the bug has vanished. I think they fixed that, which is good because, you know, that shouldn't be a thing. In the first place, it's a really bad bug because half of the people just can't play the game and, you know, that sucks. But that's just the icing on the cake. On the very big cake. It's a chocolate cake. Yeah, so there's a lot more to this than just the respawning bug. That was just a singular bug, and there's so much more. First of all, there's the bug where you die and you don't respawn. Like, basically, you'll just be stuck the whole game doing nothing. That's really it. <laughs> and we have another bug which breaks the guns. Basically, the bug is that you hold- you're holding the gun. You still- you are still holding the gun. But it's all the way over here, and it can be upside down too, and that's- that's what I had. I had an upside down gun that was so far away from my actual hand. Another bug that I discovered is that sometimes the game will just respawn you outside of the map. So you can go ahead and explore the vast and empty background of the game, because really now there isn't really anything out there, it's just a lot of nothing. It's just- it's a bunch of nothing. Then we get on to some bugs that are, well, you know, your standard bugs. You know, shooting someone and it doesn't- it just doesn't count even though you clearly hit the person. And then we get to the weapons themselves. So, first of all, the revolver's fine, except for, you know, the problem that the thing just spawns in your hand and it's really far away. I don't know what that- what causes that in the first place, but it happens, so. Then you have the shotgun, which is, not gonna lie, better at a far-range fights than close-range fights. I don't know how to describe it, but I think the best way to describe it is that it spreads when it's further away. Like, it doesn't just immediately spread like a normal shotgun. It it just, it stays, like, the bullets all stay together, the corks, because this is a cork gun, and it spreads, like, halfway at the end, and it's so bad when you're actually using a shotgun like you're actually supposed to use a shotgun, which is kind of sad. And the carbine is just, like, this one weapon that you either love or hate. Far range and close range is weird. It's like, you shoot it, and since it only shoots free shots, and not immediately, but, like, after one another, it's like, it doesn't quite hit the target like you want it to hit because you know again it's it's a cork gun it takes a bit to actually shoot and it's just it's actually harder to hit your targets than if you would have just used a revolver. You know how there's always a, a red team side and a blue team side? You know, like you've got two spots. One side belongs to blue team, one to red. Well, we have that, but guess what? The teams can just spawn anywhere. Red team can spawn in the blue team's building. Multiple people can spawn at the same time, and it doesn't even have to be in the same team. There can be one guy from red team and one blue guy from, uh, you know, from blue team spawning next to each other. Why? Or even worse, two red team members and one blue guy, and it's just like, this dude spawns and gets immediately destroyed by two blue guys. And worst of all, there's no spawn protection. You spawn into the game, you're dead. I don't know, it's just a big mess. It's really chaotic. I mean, sure, I think they wanted it to be chaotic, and maybe they- I mean, I think that is the reason why they decided to make the spawns all random, but I- I don't like it. I don't like how this plays out right now. And there's probably a lot more glitches and bugs, but this is the the stuff that I discovered when playing the game. It's awful. It's really bad. I mean, the game itself, I think if these bugs were all fixed and stuff would be rearranged and fixed and nerfed and changed and whatever, I think the game would be really good and fun. But right now, it's just, it's just, I don't know, man. Also, I don't know if this is true, but the RO was supposed to be made with CV2. If that is true, why? 
Why did you make it? Like, seriously now, a question to the people who made this, to the devs. Why did you make it with CV2? You have Unity. You have, you can just use the Unity tools to make the game. Why, why? Is it, do you want to prove a point that you can make your own game with CV2 and it's going to be just as good as this? I know, but if it really is as good as that with all the bugs, damn. I don't expect an RRO to be made with chips and the maker pen. I just want to have an RRO that was made with the engine's tools instead of something from the game itself because it might not be as good and right you can see that the game isn't like as good as it could be. I feel like we wouldn't have had as many bugs if, we, if they just made it with Unity's tools. Anyways, right now, as it stands, as the game is right now, I know it's like an early access because only Rec Room Plus people can play it. But right now, as it stands, how it is right now, I do not think it's a good idea to play Showdown right now. So I would wait until it releases to everyone until the bugs have been fixed, and then, just maybe then, it will be good. Oh, and be obviously they have to add more maps, um, they sh definitely should add, like, skins for the guns, <laughs> fix the guns. Yeah, but adding maps and more content to the RO is important, because if they don't do that, it's just gonna end up like Wreck Rally. Not as dead, because, you know, it's quick fun, you know, it's not, it's not gonna be free laps. Okay, so I actually forgot to add two more things. First of all, you can also gift someone mid-game and that will stop them, so they'll just stop moving. And secondly, the carbine rifle isn't really placed all that well in your hand. It's like really low, which is kind of annoying because it gets harder to aim, so yeah. Anyways, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys.